hello, my people, once again. I'm still lagging from my birthday. Um, thank you for joining me once again on Could Be UTV. That I'm wasn't me. Gonna say anything. That wasn't me. <laughs> Always. How are you, Chrissy? You eating all the time, smelling up the room with delicious First food. First off, I just want everybody to know <sighs> I'm a hustler. I work all day. I worked all night. I came straight here. That's why you see me wearing black every week now. But um, I had to eat my dinner. So, all right, go ahead. You, you, you know some? what? I'm sure the audience, the people watching us right chicken, now, chicken very healthy. Chicken I think and they broccoli. really would understand that. Try it. No, I don't want to eat that Fine. now. Fine. But uh, but enjoy and eat. I'm sure our viewers, it's okay. They'll enjoy watching you eat. You know. I can't stuff my face while the camera's going. It's that's, I'll wait. I'll wait until the video. That'll be a new kind of show. <laughs> They're just going to tune watch in. Watch me eat. Yes. It's going to call a segment, Watch Me Eat Once a Month. This is where you get like an idea of what it's like to go on a date with me before you go on the date. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you do she, love <laughs> See, Bobby likes it. So. You see? We're going to start a trend. You're going to start um, eating eat. on the show. What is Chrissy eating? What is e Exactly. Why don't we do that? So go ahead. This is going to be our first segment. You're going to start eating. And so what are you eating today? Today, I have delicious chicken and broccoli. So, is it good? Should we give a shout out to whoever made the delicious mm -hmm. food? Mm. I got it from Sorella's mm. in Melville. They are amazing. So, yeah. Thank all you. right. So now you know. You know they know the Sorella's. Uh, I will take all donations of food. I can't promise that I'll eat all of it because, you know, I'm trying to watch, I'm trying to watch what I eat. <laughs> well, girl, let me tell you something. You're doing a great job because you're looking amazing. I have Thank to you. say. Um, and speaking of amazing, so yes, this weekend was amazing. Um, of course, not only because it was my birthday weekend. That's right. Diva. It was the, the weekend for the diva, of course. It <laughs> I just know because I was there, but like, you know. No, it was actually, yes. Well, if you were there, you know it was a fun-filled weekend. I mean, we Linda were... goes hard. She'll not go home. <laughs> It's not go going hard, home. Right. It's only one choice, which is going hard. Well, yeah. that That's the way I roll. Exactly. So, of course, thank you, everyone. I want to um, thank everyone who wished me a happy birthday on all social media, on um, Instagram and on Facebook and the phone calls and, well, not really phone calls. Nobody really does phone calls anymore. All the text messages. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I feel special. You know people care when they call you, though. Um, no, because I care and I don't really call anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do care from a distance. But I'm saying, like, you'll call your immediate family. Like, your immediate family you call. Of course. It's not that you like don't my care mom. about other people. I want to give a shout out to my mom and my brother, Gabriel, and my mother, Nereida, because that is my mama's name. She actually called me. Um, she tried to FaceTime me, but I was, like, laid out in bed. So I couldn't really, and Reggie was sleeping, so I didn't want to wake him. But I was listening, and she actually serenaded me. Aww. She serenaded me with this Spanish uh, rendition of Happy Birthday. While How does it go? I have no idea. <laughs> while my, uh, my, my brother played the guitar. The only Spanish version of Happy Birthday I know is Feliz Cumpleaños. Well, it, no, it's not that one. It's some traditional. It's I just made it up myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's some traditional um, uh, Spanish, I don't know, folk song or something. But anyway. Yes, of course, when it comes to, to my, my mother, my God, I'll drop everything to pick up a phone call from my mom. Of course. But, um, Family, most Te important. amo, mamita. Mamacita, mia, te adoro. Me haces mucha falta. Hola. Hola. <laughs> and um, so, uh, aside from that, so, of course, um, we have my, um, my birthday party at uh, Monsoon's, which was fabulous. Thank you for all who came down. But before we actually uh, went to the party, we went and ha we stopped by at the uh, Monster Freestyle um, concert at Westbury Theater, which, by the way, I usually am the opener, opening act for these concerts. Um, unfortunately, I didn't do it this year. Um, I had other, you know, other commitments, but um, I still was there to support all the other acts, and um, thank you to Brian Rosenberg, you know, who um, is always so generous, you know, with my status. He claims I'm one of one of his, one of them. I'm I'm superstar status now, you well, know. You definitely <laughs> looked like a superstar compared to a lot well, of Well, you know people. what? So dress the way because I had that fancy pink dress on, and you know, and and listen, as soon as I spotted can we that talk dress, about the VIP. Th oh, after that, can we bring that up? Uh, 
The parking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? Walking back and forth trying to find... No, how we told them who... <laughs> oh, oh, of course, because... That was fun. Because I was dressed the way I was dressed. If all of you, you know, know if you see my pictures on, uh, on social media, you'll see that um, I had this really, like, nice pink fence. You know, it wasn't fancy. It was just... It was a little... I mean... You definitely looked like you were either performing or... Well, I will, first of all, like, I would never perform in a dress like that. You know, that's just... Unless I'm just sitting there on a chair, it's just impossible to try and perform or dance in a dress like that. That's more like a... a it was like a red carpet <laughs> dress, you know? But as soon as I seen that dress online, I was like, oh my God, that's perfect. That's my birthday. And I knew that if you're going to order anything online, if you are an expert at ordering by now, which I am, you order like a month before or like because you'll know you're not going to get anything online, especially if it's coming from China somewhere. You're not going to get anything, um, you know, soon. I don't so. order anything online. I'm like a need to like see and feel something. In front I of do me to too, like... depending. But there's a lot of things, you know, I've, I've got. It fits the right way, though. I feel it like those online it. things it's, are just weird. You got to be it, like a, yes. a toothpick for something to no, actually No, it's fit not. You. you don't have to. It, it's just very tricky. And yes, it can be because I've ordered. You know what it is? I'd be uh, Before I go to bed. Um, I have this thing now that I love to, to, you know, surf the web, you know, and I love shopping and I, you know, and, and, and but even not even like shopping, shopping, just to look, you know, and that's the way I fall asleep. So, of course, you're bound to see something you like, you know, um, and I saw this dress and I was like, oh, I have to have, that's my birthday dress, yes, you know, and I was stuck on that dress, like I didn't want to go shopping or anything. So, uh, so when I wore it, of course, I had to, you know, get it, do it up with something with my little, um, crown or whatever you want to say. You know, little my, jewels, like my little jewel thing. Band. So of course. And then the, your fur coat. Well, <laughs> my fo faux. Your faux coat. My, my faux or, fur. Fo I can't my say shaggy. It. It was not a fur. Faux shaggy. Coat. It was a shaggy. It, 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 it actually felt like my dog. Recently, uh, I have a wheat interior, and um, until recently, that's exactly what he looked like because he was so unruly with his hair. Was I just? We just recently got him groomed. Um, nobody likes him right now. I asked now, you baby. that. I said, oh, didn't you? It was like, you got your dog groomed and you just turned it into a coat. That's what you did? Yes. <laughs> oh, shh. Don't say that out loud. I'm sorry. It's like I'm wearing my he's, dog. He's a good boy now. But, yeah, sure he is. <laughs> he's a good but boy anyway, now. He stays. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, so, yeah, going to this concert at the Westbury Music Theater, like I had mentioned before, um, you know, I did miss out kind of like um, performing because I usually, I am the opening act to, you know, all the uh, performers that were there. But I showed up just to, you know, just to hang out for a little while. And because um, there was a lot of acts that I never actually got to meet as, you know, this would have been my fourth time performing at the Westbury Music Theater. So, um, so I walk in and, and everybody's looking at me as if I am, you know, so, so, Getting before into the uh, the show, getting to the parking lot was a fiasco. Getting off the parkway and just trying to, um, you know, it's, the parking lot is full. The, the the lines are backed up, and I'm like, there's no way that I am gonna be parking in like three lots away with my heels trying to get. I like, no, I am the birthday girl here. <laughs> so, but aside from being the birthday girl, all I said, all I know is I saw the security directing traffic to another parking lot and we just straight up went somewhere. I said, you I am like, so sorry. No. I said, I'm so no, sorry. No. Um, he, he was like directing me somewhere. I was like, no, 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 no. I am one of the performers here tonight. I need, I'm already late. I need to get backstage. Oh, oh, okay, sure, come this and way. You and you can't <laughs> not look at Linda in the car and think like she's not a performer because, you know, the hair and the, <laughs> and the dress and the faux coat, I was just like, whatever it was, the jeweled piece. She was like, I'm I mean, going on soon. I have to be yeah. back soon. They were like, okay, go, go, I mean, go. I was driving myself we too. Like, wasn't thank I? God we told them that because, like, we literally, we got... We got in the parking lot. We didn't have to walk very far, but we had to go through the front. We didn't know that we were supposed to go backstage because that's where we were supposed yeah. to be. But we thought that where we were supposed to enter was in the front. So we go to the front, and we're waiting, and we're standing there. The, the girl's like, oh, I don't see tickets for you. We're like, all right, listen, we know that it's there. Brian obviously was texting and saying, like, it's there, it's there. Right. So the girl's like, no, we're standing there. And all these people are walking by looking at us like, why are these girls dressed like that? Why? Who are they? Like, is that somebody like I should know? Meet and greet. It was yeah, a, we, we were like joking. Just made we're a like, meet oh, and it's greet. a meet and greet, you know, joking around. It turns out we had to go back behind the arena again to go through the backstage. But it was funny because we turned it into a little, uh, what, what would have been annoying, like, Standardly, you know, you're waiting around, you don't know where to go. Like, no, we, turned it into we a, you know, turned I did it into fun we it did because you know, I knew some of the artists already, you know, and, and it was nice to um to get a couple of shout outs and some mm -hmm. uh, you know what, um, Bobby, can we just put the let's start off um how my weekend went? 
Yay! That was my How birthday pretty. outfit. That was my birthday outfit. Pretty, pretty princess. For those of you who know. What's up? This is Rob Bates, and I'm going to give a big happy birthday shout out to Linda Lynn. No doubt, it takes two. Me and her, you see that, right? <laughs> happy birthday! Yay! Woo Love it! Our website, which is probably already taken. Okay. <laughs> uh, the clothing line, the station on television that works everywhere. That's it. You just said it. I just said it. Forever your lady. Yes. Salud. I was looking at this. I hope that this is going to be something. Damn. Don't finish this. Amanda, man. Okay, so that was a little preview of the um, of the backstage at the concert. Which I, I have to say, I have to give a shout out to Suave because he was such a sweetheart. Suave, hi. You know what? Let me get to have them on the show. Yeah, and also a big shout out to the sweetest group that I know, Sweet Sensation. That's why they are called Sweet Sensation because they're literally sweet. Um, they they are absolutely awesome and. Um, they gave me that um, cute little um, happy birthday shout out. It was awesome as well. Rob Bass, you know, thank you so much. You know, it takes two. It takes two. It takes two. It takes two. Me and you. So that was actually really cool. Um, what else can we talk about? Well, we got to give a shout out to our friends who are sick. Oh, uh, yeah. We have a couple people that are sick. Uh, we just want to send them well wishes. <clears throat> Noel, be well. Parker. Be well. Angel, be well. Now, I just want to know, like, was there, like, a threesome that we missed? Were all of you guys got <laughs> Were you guys got sick? I'm just saying, like, I'm mad I didn't Excuse get... Excuse me. I'm kind of upset I didn't get the invite. I mean, I'm glad I'm not sick, um, but, you know, what What the what the hell? How are all of our people, our top people, like, sick like that? Um, It happens, like, the weather. Like, right now, my ear is, like, itching and my throat, and I'm, like, getting, you know, but, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Well, I'm just going to... hope you get better. <laughs> Feel better, my friends. Stop making out with everybody. Yes, yeah, stop it. You're spreading the germs. Um, so that's that. <laughs> but speaking of Noel, <laughs> hold your breath. Oh, no, I only have one, just one. Um, speaking of Noelle, um, she did something really funny. Um, as all of you know already, and if you don't already know, uh, she does a majority of my, um, my photo shoots, my pictures, and, you know, uh, I, I think I showed last week some of my pics that she had taken. Um, she's amazing what she does. Um, but this is one picture that I think came out fabulous. Um, I was like, um, with Crystal Waters. You see that picture right there? Right? I think it came out... I nice. think you look like the celebrity. Right, though. okay, exactly. On? I mean, you are a celebrity <laughs> in your own right, Linda, but like she's, you know, she's well known. She's had a couple of top hits like that have been known all over the world, and she's old school. Like she's been around a long time. She don't even look like, she I, looks like the fan. I know. She's well, fangirling. You know, thank you. She's fangirl. Wow, look at those boobs. They're really popping in that dress, huh? That is but, um, popping. so anyway, so. That's funny. So, Noelle, so I said Noelle because she's very, you know, um, savvy when it comes to, you know, uh, photography and knowing all the Photoshop and stuff. And I said, make something really cool out of this picture, you know. So she started sending me, like, these pictures. And I didn't really send, I don't really have the one that I really wanted to put up. But one of the pictures was me at, at the Grammys, right? Um, <laughs> you know, which was really cool. There was another one no. of red carpet, but. Wait, did you ask her to do that? She just no, sent that No, she to you. just sent that. I just said, do something nice. <laughs> oh, no, well, you're the but best. But then, but wait, 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 this. So then she, she was, she started to be on a roll. Now she started sending me like different pictures. Now it just went out of control. And look what she started doing. Uh, tell me there's dinosaurs, like a volcano and dinosaurs in the background. You, some, you know what? I wouldn't pass her. She put me in a bodega. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they? I don't know. But the, 
we need their consent, no? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, That's a Photoshop. A well, they, you know why They should have asked my consent that they you can be like, my... You were like, no, I'm here and I'm just picking up some Tic Tacs. <laughs> yes, the M&Ms and, and gum. And some Four Locos. Yeah. You and know, then we're, getting, now we're getting ready for the night. Oh, my goodness. And then I was hungry, supposedly, and this is where I ended up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we did we did actually want White Castle that night, remember? So I ended up, she put me on White Castle. We were thinking about that. Yeah, so there you go. So, <laughs> Noel, so thank you, I Noel, you for that. Pops. It's pretty funny. Yeah, so I just had a, like, you know, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, but, you know, how strange how just that one picture that just was taken so randomly um, came out better than if you, you know, was to even... Um... You definitely, you know, you dressed for the occasion. Um, you always look, you know, wonderful. And when you, you put together an outfit, I definitely can't see myself having the creativity or the fashions. I mean, I don't have that. Like, if you see, I wear black, like, a lot. So, I don't know. Like, maybe maybe you could do, like, a Linda Lynn, like, fashion tips. Um, I don't know. I mean, okay, so... I th I think I'm trendy. No, I don't want to say I'm trendy. I'm I'm a, I'm fashion aware, you know. But it's my style. I'm I don't follow any any trends. I don't follow any styles. I don't know what style is out there. I don't know anything. All I know is when I see something, I like it. I'm like, oh my god, I have to have it, you know. Um, but for some reason, it's always been like that. Like even with my wedding dress, I wish I had a picture of my wedding dress, but. I had to go all out. I said, first of all, this is my wedding night. My, the one time, the only time I'm ever going to get married. I want it to be that Cinderella type of, of, of look. You know, I want, I, wherever in my life am I going to have a over poofy the dress? Over a the poofy top. dress. Like, what, you know, so I, that's what I wanted. And I wore this poofy ruffle, like, really, you know, Cinderella type of dress. And the shoes that I wore were so un traditional unorthodox they were like platforms or rhinestone that but i did it on purpose because i knew i was like i'm not gonna be wearing heels with my dress like i want something comfortable you know anyway everybody knew they're like only linda can pull that off only linda can pull that off like who else would wear a dress like you know so i've always I, i'm not like extravagant i like so different like oh my god like on my own uh you know but I like, I like certain things that are different you know i like to you know not that i like to stand out it just happens that the things that i like makes me stand out, you know? Yeah, no, you do. You so. have your own fashion sense. I mean, I give you credit because, God, if I wore some of the stuff you wore, it would look ridiculous on me. <laughs> it would look ridiculous on me. I don't know. I just... You do a good job. Hey, I give you, like I said, I give you props. So, Linda um, Lynn fashion tips. Yeah. Linda Lynn 101. Fashion what, 101. Well, you know what is it? Everybody has their I'll own be your thing. First, you know? I'll be your first. Yeah, thing. so I'll just dress you all in black, and you'll be like, I love it. And the next one, I love it. Everything's in black, right? Everything in black. That's all right. right. So before I forget also, um, I have to give a special shout out to Tiana. If you don't know who Tiana is, Tiana is my baby girl. And I don't care how old she is and how old she will be and forever, but... She'll be my little girl forever. So she is my baby girl. But baby. you know that it was her birthday last week. And, um, you know, she, she, she got everything she could ever have wanted. But I did not expect to get a gift from her. When I saw this bag, I was like, what can you have possibly gotten me, child? It's a bracelet. A Louis Vuitton bracelet. Look how cute. She's a good kid. That's a good With act. her allowance. With her allowance. She bought me this. It made me almost want to cry. Very yeah, sweet. I never really, something so different, I would have never, even myself, I would never have said, oh, I want a Louis Vuitton bracelet, you know, or I've never even mentioned it in my life. I mean, I go inside the store a lot, you know, I just like to browse. And just look, That's what we you know? do. We're women. We just go into stores. Yeah, and touch but I, and say, this I is never. Nice. This is nice, but never actually buy anything. I never even <laughs> browsed at jewelry, you know. So for her to have given me, you know, she really surprised me. And um, and also, a big surprise, you know, that I got for my birthday because it was my birthday is that um, she actually accompanied us to um, the open mic that we always like to go on Mondays at the Rose Hill Hotel in the city. Um, I'm so proud and so happy that she actually got to um, 
to make it and 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 yes as you would know because you also performed and the last time you were there it could be a little nerve-wracking for your first time there you're up in a crowd and it wasn't even that big of a crowd you know it was so the well, last time we went i felt like it was just over the top like ton like the whole place was overflowing with people um this time was a little bit less people i mean we got there a little later than we did last time but it filled up like after you know a certain time but i mean every time you go which i've only been there a couple times but i could just tell by the people that are there like everybody there is an artist in their own way like you have opera singers and they're all you have different r&b right, singers all different. you have rock singers you have just everybody's different in their own way and has their own sound and you have the band and they might not know the song but they'll just try to flow with it and they'll look it up like they could read notes obviously so you know, they do what they can, and it's just a good time. It's a great vibe. Everybody's really supportive, and, you know, everybody will cheer you on, even if you think you're not doing well or you mess up the words. I mean, like I said, the first yeah. time I went, I messed up the words. They they cheered me on. They clapped, you know, and they, made, they just make you feel very comfortable. But that's what I kept saying. I was like, oh, my God, anybody that goes there, it can be a little intimidating, I guess, but... Once you do it, it's like you're over and that's it. Now you know, and it's like, okay, now for next time. And just to hear mm -hmm. her say, oh, you know, for next time I'll do it. I was like, okay, then yeah, now the next she wants time. To go back. So now you feel better. And this is what any up and coming, you know, people, I guess, that have, you know, a hard time or never been in front of, you know, a crowd or audience, um, this is why they call them open mics, you know, just to go and, and, and express yourself and showcase yourself. And, and they're open like that because you can keep going and, and, and that's what's going to loosen you up and that's what's going to make you get ready for the, you know. So I was so happy with that. So, um, Bobby, do we have uh, some clips that we can show of that night? <laughs> Shut up, that's not your daughter. Yes. That's, that's, not your daughter. Yeah. that's not your daughter. That's not your daughter. Right? That's her daughter. Are you kidding me? That's mommy. That's her daughter. That's her daughter. Yeah. Your parents gave you good sleep when that's you were 10? Come on. That's mommy. Wow, really? Hi. Hi. You know what? Now, uh, while uh, Tiana's getting it together, mommy, come over here and tell them what you do, baby. Wait, wait.
She did amazing. And you, you didn't send any video clips so we can show it on Kobe UTV? I did. I sent it to you. You, you didn't send it to me because I, I didn't get it. work. Oh, I, well. I, I did it through WhatsApp. Well, Sorry, I didn't guys. see that. But anyway, so that was the, um, that was the night. Um, so we should just, I want to give a shout out to Mel and Mel, <laughs> Bobby and Loretta. Um, they were, you know, they're always so supportive, um, made her feel so, um, special and, and happy and, um, and also want to shout out to Tiana's friends that they went to support her as well. And, um, and hopefully this is not, um, this is not the last of it. So there you go. Rose Hill, right? Rose Hill, um, Mondays. Rose Hill Mondays, Rose Hill Mondays at the Rose Hill hotel. That's what it's called. Yeah. I think it's the Yeah, it's on Rose 32nd Hotel. and Madison, something like that, right? Anyway, look at all the Rose Hill Hotel in the city, Monday nights. Um, it's amazing for any artist that wants to go and perform, or, not, or anybody who just wants to have a nice, you know, uh, low-key environment, listening to all these different type of pe you know, people sing. You can have drinks. You can even order food. Um, but just get there early because... Once it starts getting crowded. Seats are limited. Yeah, very limited. But it's limited. a lot of fun. You stand around, you talk to everybody. Everybody's really sweet. You know, if you want to get up and sing, I mean, definitely be prepared. You know, have like a song that you are comfortable singing in front of people. Like a karaoke. Even if you're like a karaoke fan and you like, you know, singing and, and just do you. Get up, go. It's a good time. It's definitely something that I want to do often now. It's a little difficult getting into the city on a Monday night, but... We do it. We make it work. Yeah, that. Um, it's a lot of fun. And not only that, but um, then yesterday, you know, I was trying to get together a little video that we can show, but um, I'm always having trouble with something. But shout out to BMJ Studios. Um, they are so totally amazing. Um, Melissa is amazing. You know, um, everyone there. The place is super for anybody looking. Hey, a, of, well, I was getting to him, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> for um, anybody looking for um, for that like quality studio, I mean, you have to definitely check out this place. I wish I had pictures up for next week. I'll have some pictures to show you, but just look up BMJ Studios. Um, the facility is amazing. Looking for music production, video production, any type of that, you know, uh, anything. Photo shoot. Photo shoots, anything like that. Definitely BMJ. And they have a rooftop. They have an outside. Everything. But like I'm it's saying, like you saw spot. it. It's mm -hmm. like amazing. So, yeah, absolutely. Shout out to them. And being that, um, and of course, how can I not give this special dude a, a, a shout out, A-King? Um, he is so super amazing. Uh, we're working on this new project um, as you joined in yesterday. And, um, and I'm so super excited, super psyched that, you know, we're, we're, I'm reinventing myself sort of, you know, and coming out with new music, new, you know, new photo shoots. So everybody stay tuned. Wait for it. Um, so, yeah, so big shout out to them. And um, what else? you have anything else to say? No, I mean, I, I really, 
I enjoyed yesterday. I mean, just like watching, you know, the creative process behind, you know, your music and being involved. I mean, we're friends, obviously. I've heard you sing and I've helped, we've worked together on things. I've helped write a couple of lines here and there. But um, just to like be able to get on, involved and like do some of the harmonies and stuff, like it was a lot of fun. That's like, I love doing that stuff and I love helping create. Like, you know, it was like, all right, what can we do here? What can we do here? And just, well, let me just freestyle and roll with it. And you tell me if you like it or not. I don't know. I mean, well, but... that's that's what we that's how it mm -hmm. is. You know, the more people, you know, especially for a project like this, we're not gonna disclose yet. You know, because it's top secret for now. But we're trying to get some people on board, some very known people. And um, this is not something that we're rushing. This is not something we don't have a deadline or anything like that. So it's nothing that. But it's definitely um, something that we're gonna take our time. We're gonna be doing, you know, collaborations with people. Get them together. Give their, you know, their opinions, their feedback, their insights, just to make sure that this track, this song, that is gonna be so. It's already dope, but the more people, um, more talented people, more inquisitive people that understand. And when you listen to a song, like, you know, you have your opinion. Do you have that opinion? You have, and we'll just put it together. And we'll take pieces of what is it that you're looking for when you hear the song. So that's why I like to involve. You know, I like, you know, how, how is that? How can I not knowing that you're my friend and this is what you like doing, whatever. And, um, you know, and as you can see, what I always talk about, I, this is me as a whole, as a one person. I do everything on my own. As you see, I do my own camera work. You know, I do my own video work. I feel like I'm at that, you know, at that point that I have the capabilities of doing the same thing, you know, that someone else can do. Unless I can, but for the most part, I think I'm savvy enough to know how to handle camera. Mm -hmm. um, so I know um, with my, you know, thank God. Oh, I have to give a shout out to uh, Vincent as well for um, also bringing my computer back to life. Um, so with my little computer and, you know, using either iMovie or Final Cut, um, I'm a little savvy when it comes to video editing and doing videos and stuff like that. So, um, because I, I, I so, you know, I'm so independent in doing my stuff that I, so I like to be hands-on, especially with people I like take, to be hands-on, too. We're not talking about that hands-on. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Can we leave it for another segment here? Write it down. <laughs> Next week, we'll write hands-on that we're talking about. Hands-on. Yeah, hands-off right now. Okay, hands-off. Um, I need to be in control of certain things, especially videos. I, you know, I like to know what parts, you know. So that's why when I do my music videos, I like to be there. I like that part. I don't like that part. Cut that out, you know. That, you know. So I'm glad that, that I did. You don't even get to see it, but you're I, a leader. See, I'm a follower. I like to somebody just tell me what to do. Well, but you know what? It's okay. No. Yes, I will. I'll do whatever you tell me. <laughs> you but run I'm, I'm, the but show. But I'm both. I'm both. I'm both. Right. I'm both because it's I can. It's good to have both because then no, you can uh, be guided, but at the same time, you want to have the you want to be a part of the creative process. Like, uh, but I'm fine. Like, I don't feel I don't consider myself like oh a leader, and I have to be in control, and I don't you know like I just know certain things how I like them, you know. So if I'm working with you, and you know you're you know you're let's say the producer, the creative director, whatever. I'm not gonna go over your toes and be like, well, you know, that's not the way it's gonna be done. This is, you know, I mean, I'm like, you know what? I really don't like the way I look there. Can we please cut that out? So instead of having to rely on somebody else, I just, and time-wise too, when you depend on other people, I like the timing is, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, I need to do things at a certain time. Um, so I like, I, I'm a leader, yes, because I know what I want, but I'm also a follower as far as that I listen. I, 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 I listen to people and I like to sit there and observe, you know, absorb. And I, I never have that clout that, you know, well, I know more than you or, you know, I'm a know-it-all, nothing like that, because I definitely don't know it all. I know a lot, but I don't know it all. So, um, so when I had you, you know, I, I, I you know, gave her a little lesson. In, uh, not even, she took control. But I, you know, I hope the camera right, come on pretty good, I have to say. I'm going to show you in a little bit. I kind of know what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, can't be that difficult. Yeah, well, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, it's just doing certain things that make it. That's why it's just move. When you move and you make it, you know. So anyway, I just made it work, you know. So from there, you know, um, doing like what's called an EPK for those of you that are in the music business, the electronic press package. Um, so yeah, so Linda Lynn is getting her shit together. And um, no nonsense. I said shit. I said shit. 
That's it. You know what? I'm saying it right now. You reinvent Lynn. Lynn. When Lynn's reinventing herself, she's going to start cursing more. Maybe she could take some of it away from um, her. Well, I'm not cursing more, but I am defining certain things more. And I'm saying a lot to fuck that. Woo! 2019. That, I'm Linda sorry. Fuck Bobby, that shit. I do have a little bit of that in me, you know? That just happened once. It's not going to happen again. Are the strippers coming out any minute, too? What are we doing? <laughs> I got dollar bills. You want... No, oh, I, that's shit. it. You know, it, 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 it's come to that point where it's like, you know, enough with the nonsense. Um, it's time to just get up and work. Um, this is, you know, uh, work, the, work, work, the work, year's work. coming up. Linda Lynn is work, 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 right. work, work, work. <laughs> Fuck this shit is work, work. Yeah, that's it. You know, I've done... And like, you know, you know, it's not easy. It's not easy. I have this show, my baby... That I do, and I have to, you know, it's a lot of work, and also do the music is a lot of work, a household is a lot of work, a family is a lot of work, you know. So, a lot combined, it is a lot of work. And people um, don't understand, being a woman in general is just a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I don't want to hear Bob. Bobby, Bobby, you have acts something like to say. Acts like he's got a microphone back there. I'm sorry. You, to... If you have something to say, you can come up here. Yeah. We can debate this right here, out right now. Just because you know you've got saying? a beard now, and you actually have to groom that thing, doesn't mean that you know what it's like to to have to work. To make yourself look, you know, yeah, off Bobby. the top at all points. Yeah, Bobby. So we gotta worry about the hair, the makeup. Anyway, that's right, right. peoples. Right. Okay, but um, <laughs> but anyway, so yes, Linda Lynn is um, coming strong, um, focused, more focused than ever. Um, like I said, getting my shit together. Uh, shit. Me too. So if you want to, you know, add shit to my shit, then get your shit away from me. Yeah. So. Throw shit around us. That's it. We don't want We're, no shit around I'm done. us. I'm done. We're done with the nonsense. You, you heard? That's right. We only got a couple months left of this year. In 2019, it's going to be a bye, Felicia. Bye. Oh, yeah. Bye, Felicia. Oh, my God. That word. We're going to have to uh, come back with the word. Bye, Felicia. Um, either you jump on the bandwagon now because once we're I'm um, rolling, don't come try to get on it later. Uh uh uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, because I'm not gonna let nobody in. You understand me? Because Linda Lynn is <laughs> gone, right? Choo -choo. Anyway, choo choo. Bye, <laughs> bye, Felicia. So but anyway, so yes, yeah, so recapping everything. Um, also, before I forget, um, want to give a, a shout out to Sam, my girl. Uh, we have uh, another event coming up, and I want to talk a little bit about it. It's um, the Young Hip Professionals. The um, Bobby, can I get your, your phone? <laughs> He's my savior. Next, I'm gonna have to have a printer right next to me. Okay. Say hi, Bobby, so everybody could know who's talking why you shit poke in the your, Yeah, why don't you poke your head and see? Go ahead. Bobby, this is the, the owner, guy. the engineer, the producer, tough guy the over pain here. in the butt. The, okay. Tough guy. He is the keep, keep wizard of he's the yeah, wizard keep of us Oz. In line. Thanks. <laughs> he's the wizard behind the curtain. Can we show that um, flyer? Okay, so here I am. I'm gonna I'm gonna ad lib this. Okay, it's going minute. down Saturday, November third, two thousand eighteen, from eleven a.m. to two p.m. Theater two ninety four in Farmingdale. It's the Art of Introduction, okay? This is a professional development brunch featuring BET, Robin Ayers, Atlantic Records, Tanya Villalba, Duke, DJ Anton here, No Evil, Abram here from Entertainment Industry. Okay, so it's here from Entertainment Industry Leaders on how to get to the next level by building connections and leveraging your talents. Yes! So, everybody, DM Sam Law for any information. But it's going down Saturday, November 3rd. So, please, please get your um, tickets um, if you go to Young Hit Professionals um, on Instagram or Facebook or on Sam Law. Uh, you will get a link to how to get the tickets. Um, and if you do it ASAP, you'll save on an early bird um, general admission, you know, with a... Um, with a code, with an early bird code. So there you go. November 3rd, Saturday, save the date. Here's your phone. Thank you, sir. So how did I do? Did I do good as radio? You pronounced everything right. I, I tried. I'm sure I didn't, <laughs> but I just went with the, I just went with it, you know. Did a great job. 
But um, yeah. And um, can't let me hide my nuts. So <laughs> I can hide my nuts. <laughs> my, let me hide my nuts. <laughs> it sounds like. But a you ball know what? I don't have nuts, but I do have balls. I am meaning balls, gutsy balls. Cojones. Tengo cojones. Yeah, but vaginas are much stronger than balls. Well. Yeah, balls are very fragile. You know what I mean? That's why um, I don't understand. Betty, Betty White said it best. I don't know why they say, you know, grow some balls, you know, or balls are hard because when a vagina takes a real pounding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leave it. Leave it. To go. <laughs> I haven't had slept in like five days. <laughs> Christy! Leave it to Christy. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta edit that out. Make those nice oh, you can't edit. I'm live. Hello, oh, really people. Sorry. I have my Instagram people here. I have my Facebook. Thank you for that analogy. That was great. I'll remember that. So, That's yes. not how she said it, but it was something to that. that? Betty White. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. Oh, whatever. Anyway, so, so you yes. You got your laugh for the day. I'm sorry. All right. Well, good. Ha, ha. <sighs> Chrissy anyway. said something dumb. No. It should that, be its own show. You, you literally. The dumb things that Chrissy says. But anyway, so before closing on the show, um, I want to talk about something really funny. So I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned to you, I was mentioning to Bobby. So... From now on on the Could Be You TV show, Linda Lynn Presents, okay, we're going to do what's like, you know, when they do like an employee of the month, we're going to do like um, a person who's done a good deed or who's done something good for themselves and we're going to poster them like that person is going to be the something of the month for Could Be You TV. So I'm getting to as to why. So... Yesterday, I wanted to eat at IHOP for breakfast, okay? So we're sitting there, me and hubby. Is that where you go for breakfast? Sometimes. It's not even breakfast. I, I get up when you're supposed to have breakfast, so call it a, I don't know, the brunch. <laughs> um, I could have pancakes for dinner, you know? You can have breakfast anytime you want. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, like breakfast food, I can have it for dinner. Like, I don't necessarily have to have, you know, pasta and stuff. I'll, I'm okay. I could have a bowl of cereal Kershaw. for Kershaw! Hi, Kersh! I can, you missed the best part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, literally just missed it. Um, so, anyway, so we're sitting down, and uh, right behind me in the booth, there is this guy with his son, and I guess they, were, they had an outing. The father was taking out the son for breakfast. Um, and you hear them playing, so it was a little while. So then he asked to have the, uh, the bill. So then his waitress comes over and says, um, oh, you know, somebody already picked up the tab for you. Somebody, you know, paid for your, for your meal. So the guy's like, what? Like, he's confused. He's not understanding. He's like, yeah, one of the waitresses decided to pick up your tab. So I, I thought in my mind, oh, he must be cutie or something. The girl liked him. I don't know. You know, why would, you know. So if I'm working at IHOP. I'm not paying anybody's tab. I'll tell you that right <laughs> so now, wait. unless they are like so. You know. So um, so he's questioning. Oh, thank you so much. Blah blah blah. So I'm like, uh, well, it's my birthday. Like, is anybody gonna pick up my tab? You know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know what? All I got, all I got was a uh, big clap. Happy, happy, happy. No, she was like, no, I didn't say that to you. I'm get right, the song exactly. I and didn't a candle. say that. I really exactly. wanted someone to pick up my tab. And with an ice cream, and that I was so full that I just turned with around your and, gave, and gave it to. Um, so right, I gave it to a little kid. So a gentleman comes over to to the guy and shakes his hand and walks away. So then the the waitress says, "Oh, he didn't want anybody to know that it was, but that was a gentleman who picked up your tab." And did he know him? No. That's what I'm saying. He didn't know him. It was like a complete stranger who just picked picked, up. Just said that one. Just, just yeah, I guess him. I can only say, wow, he was impressed by the fact that maybe he. he well, you weren't listening to the whole. Con you weren't listening to everything that went on at the table or what happened. So maybe the guy saw something that made him feel like, oh, like maybe I should pick up their tab or heard them over. Maybe no, well, them first of all, the, the guy came from like uh, the other side of the room. So it wasn't like he was in near. Um, I just felt that maybe this man thought, what a good dad, or what a good, you know, what something nice to see the father and the son. 
You know, mm -hmm. maybe that touched him in a way, you know, yeah. that he wanted to. So here I am trying to rush up, up everything and eat. So I really honestly wanted to catch up with him. And I wanted to ask him, like, so that was so nice of you to do that. What was the purpose to do that? And I, I said, you know what? I am going to take a picture of this man. And I am going to put him as the Could Be You TV person of the month. Could be tea, person for of the, the good. Yes. So we're we gonna call it person of the month. We need like a good like way to call look, it that. If you but guys wait, have where's any that opinions. pig? Where's that flyer? That that mystery person. This is the mystery <laughs> person. I can't this, tell. By it's the not. Back of their we don't know who, who he are. is, but we want to give him a big shout out to the IHOP man. If anybody knows or has heard that someone in IHOP <laughs> buying people paid breakfast. for somebody else's um, pancakes. Pancakes. <laughs> Please let him know that Could Be You TV is interested in having we're him. looking for him. Yes, you. we're looking for him. And he is our mystery man of the day. What if it's just some random that says, oh, yeah, that was me? Well, no. He he would have to know exactly. But listen, what... whether or not you're going to be featured on a show or people, like, you know, recognize things like this, like, do it anyway. Pay it forward. You know, you ever go on a Dunkin' Donuts line and, but wait, well, that you know, somebody, <laughs> somebody's like, oh, I got the, somebody, oh, the person in front of you, like, on the drive through line. I've, right. I've had that before where I drove up to the window and somebody had already paid for my coffee. Didn't know who they were, obviously. Well. It was just them paying it forward. For so I was like, wow, I was like, that, you know, that was really Bobby, nice. isn't now that something I, that I you have saw to do it? it back. So it's so funny because I'm trying Kershaw to tell... wants pancakes now, by the way. Kershaw, get Kershaw, some we can go get some right now. I hop. It's open all the time, and they always serve breakfast. Uh, oh, Bobby, I'm telling Bobby the story, uh, as, and he's making up his own story as I'm going along. So he he finished the story before I can even say it. He's like, so somebody else came and paid for your uh, tab too. And I was you're like, like, no, no, I got that's a not. Song. He's like, I got a song oh. and a candle. She he said. goes, that oh, that would have been nice if they would have just put. You know, uh, paid it forward, it. and then I said to myself, so I said, you know what? That guy maybe should have because it was my birthday, and he knew it. So being that somebody paid for it, he should have done it for mine. No, oh, well, we, you know, what are you gonna do? He didn't know it was your birthday. Uh, yes, he did because I said it. I said, was well, my birthday. Somebody you said should. that out loud before he left. Yes, I said it's my birthday. Does somebody want to pay my tab? And that's when they came over with a. Happy, happy, happy birthday! <laughs> you know that that's like a un, you know that's an unwritten law in like restaurant world that the link anytime somebody mentions the word birthday, they that means that's code for like bring a fucking dessert. And well, candle. you know what's so funny? I didn't. That wasn't my intention because no, I don't didn't want to be exploited. Sung happy birthday by high <laughs> people. Like you're 12. With my little uh, ice cream with and ice sprinkles. Cream wait, wait, I was like, uh, okay, here, and I gave it to the kid. That's but awesome. anyway, so I think that that's going to be a new thing with Could Be You TV. Um, if you are or know someone that has or will, you know, you can always um, hit us up on Could Be You TV or email us and tell us your story. And um, and we'll review it, and we'll see if you can be that could be UTV person of the month. Person of the month. Yes. Oh, I'm sure we can come up Hero. with something. Hero. Hero. Well, we'll come up with something. Okay. Well, if anybody has um, any ideas of what should we call this um, this new segment where people are being recognized Jesus. for accomplishments <laughs> or uh, good deeds, you can always write us. Um, you know, and we'll. And you know what? There's another one. Whoever we should make that a game too. Whoever we pick that has the best name, we can also um, give them a shout out and have them for picking up the name, right? Yeah, sure. <sighs> anyway, wow, it's about that time. We had a lot to talk about. We were just yapping, 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 yapping. Mostly you. <laughs> well. <laughs> it was your birthday weekend. It was my birthday. And I had, you know what? And I didn't even say half the things I really wanted to say, but <sighs> thank Why you Why don't we shout again. out some of the people real quick that uh, joined in? Sure. Rudy, uh, Rudy Breedy, <clears throat> Susan, um, my dad's fiance. Hey, Susan. Hope your daughter's doing better. Mary, we all are hoping the best for her. Uh, Sam, Sam Law checked in. She's at a concert. She wanted to show love, so she was in the chat. Kershaw, of course. Kershaw's in the chat. Kershaw, Kerbunka. Kershaw, Poopy. Call me. Doing big things call this me. weekend, by the way. He's call hosting me. a big party, so shout out to Kershaw for, you know, Doing what he does. He's really fucking, he's the shit, man. He does it all. Yeah, he does. Yeah, Kershaw is amazing. Um, you got to come back on the show with us. Uh, yes, call us. We have a lot to talk about. Um, well, let me give my little brother here, before he has a heart attack, uh, to my brother, Gabriel. Thank you for that uh, shout-out with Mommy for my birthday. Gabriel, Gabby. Um, 
There's so many people on here. Thank you so much, Mauro. Thank you for joining. Uh, it's my cousin Wilson. Um, oh my God. My sister in law, Mary. Ah, Reem. Bubba. Bubba. Ah, DJ Faceman. Bubba. Bubba. There's Trap so many people. Potatoes. Let me see if I can get. I don't want to miss anybody. But anyway, thank you all who, um, who joined us. Um, join us on Facebook at Linda Lynn or Kofi UTV. The show will be on there. So if um, you need to go and, and, and check it out, do so. And um, thank you, Chrissy, for spending this weekend with me. It was a pleasure to have my little girl. It was a girly. pleasure to be there. She spent almost the whole, involved. all she needed was to sleep in my bed because basically we were together the whole weekend. But um, that's why I haven't slept in five days and I just. <laughs> I want to leave her alone. <sighs> but um, all right. Have a good night. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same. And as you see, I'm loving this new time slot. How do you like this new time I slot? I love it. I love yeah. it. Bed. 9 p.m. Trying to go to bed early. <laughs> 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Next Tuesday. See you again. Bye-bye. Adios. Arrivederci.